this video, we're going to talk about graphing linear inequalities. Now, a linear inequality defines a relationship of order between two expressions. That is, one expression is typically greater than or less than another, although sometimes they are equal as well. We use different symbols to define this order. There is a less than symbol, a greater than symbol, a less than or equal to symbol, which is the same as less than but with a line underneath it, and a greater than or equal to symbol, which is the same as greater than only a line underneath it. A lot of people have trouble remembering which symbol is actually the less than symbol and which one is the greater than symbol since they are exactly backwards of each other. Here are two little tips you can use. Remember first that L goes with less than and think of a capital L and just tip it slightly sideways and when you do that you'll have a less than sign. Also, if you make the less than symbols and greater than symbols with your thumb and pointer fingers on both hands, it's the left hand that makes the less than symbol. We're going to practice by simply reading the expressions or writing the expressions. Hopefully you have some experience with this in the past, so I want you to just pause this video and go ahead and try out these four examples. Come back to me when you're finished. All right, hopefully you've given these a try. The first expression we have is x is greater than negative 1. And we would write it, x is greater than negative 1. The second one reads, t is greater than or equal to 4. And we write that with the symbology t, and then the greater than or equal to symbol, and then the number 4. The next expression is n with the less than or equal to symbol 2. And we write that as n is less than or equal to the number 2. And finally, we have the phrase y is between 2 and 3, not including the endpoints. And this one might be a little tricky for you, but the way to start it is to think about the expression being sandwiched between the numbers 2 and 3. And we want y to be between those. We're going to write 2 is less than y is less than 3. In other words, we're sandwiching y between 2 and 3. Notice that I don't have equals on the less than signs, just plain less than signs. This last expression was a great example of what happens when the variable is between two inequality symbols. We can essentially read it two ways. So if we look at the expression 3, a less than symbol x, a less than or equal symbol 9, we can read that as either 3 is less than x, which is less than or equal to 9, or we can read it as x is between 3 and 9, including the 9. When we say we include the endpoints, we're saying that it can be equal to the endpoints. Often these linear inequalities make more sense when you see them on number lines. Now there are two ways we can draw an inequality on a number line. At the top of the page, I gave you a legend for these two methods. One method uses open and closed points. We use an open point, an open circle, when we use a less than symbol or a greater than symbol. We used a closed circle when we have a less than or equal to or a greater than or equal to symbol. The other method of drawing an inequality uses either a parentheses or a bracket. We use a parentheses when we have a less than or a greater than, and we use a bracket when we have a less than equal to or greater than or equal to. The parentheses or bracket always needs to open up in the direction that we're going to draw the graph. For example, when we want to indicate is less than, we want a right-hand parentheses with a graph drawn with an arrow to the left. When we want to use is greater than or equal to, we would use a left-facing bracket with an arrow drawn to the right. Let's take a look at these four problems. In the first graph, we see an open dot at 2.5 and a graph drawn to the left of 2.5. What this means is that we're not including the 2.5, but we are including all the values less than 2.5. And the way we would indicate that is with x is less than 2.5 as an expression. And if we wanted to draw the same thing, but with the parentheses or bracket notation, we would put a right-facing parentheses at 2.5 and draw our arrow moving to the left on the number line. For the second problem, we're given the expression x is greater than or equal to negative 0.5. The equal to indicates it'll be a closed point or a bracket. Let's first draw the inequality with the closed point. I'll start with a point at negative 0.5 that's halfway between negative 1 and 0. And I want all the values that are greater than that. So I'm going to draw an arrow to the right of that point. Now let's draw the graph that uses the bracket. Since I want the values that are greater than negative 0.5, I'm going to use a left bracket, in other words, one that opens to the right. 
I'm going to place that at negative 0.5 and then draw an arrow moving to the right. The next graph I have is using open and closed dots. There's an open dot at negative 1 and a closed dot at 3 and we're shading everything between them. So what I have is a between inequality. I have all the points that are between negative 1 and 3. So I'm going to write x in the middle. Negative 1 is less than x is less than or equal to 3. That means we include the 3, the closed dot, and we don't include the negative 1. To draw this with parentheses and brackets, let's start with a negative 1. Since negative 1 is less than x but not including x, we're going to use a parentheses for that. That's a left parentheses opening to the right. At 3, we have less than or equal to 3, so that's going to be a right bracket opening to the left. And then we'll shade everything between those two values. Our final expression is negative 3 is less than x is less than or equal to 4. Again, we have a between inequality. For that open and closed dot type graph, we're going to plot an open dot at negative 3 and a closed dot at 4 and include everything between those two values. For our parentheses and bracket graph, we're going to draw a left parentheses at negative 3, so it's opening to the right. We're going to draw a right bracket at 4, so it's opening to the left. And then we'll draw a line to connect the two on the number line. Let's just recap. A linear inequality has four different kinds of symbols. We can graph them with either open and closed points or parentheses and brackets. Just remember when you're using the parentheses and brackets that you want the bracket or parentheses to open in the direction you're going to draw.